Tributes continue to pour in tonight for a Danville police officer shot and killed in the line of duty Sunday night. A vigil for Officer Thomas Cottrell is scheduled to begin in less than an hour at the Danville Municipal Building. His body was found behind that building late Sunday night. About 20 minutes before that, a former girlfriend of Herschel Ray Jones called dispatchers to report that officers were in danger. Jones was arrested a short time later and is expected to be charged with murder. Team coverage tonight, Harrison Hove spoke exclusively with the Danville Police Chief about the department's first loss in more than a century. But first, Renee LaSalle spoke with Officer Control's former wife and his daughter. Today, Renee is live at the Fallen Officers Memorial in downtown Columbus. Renee? Yeah, Mike, tonight we are standing near this memorial dedicated to Columbus's fallen officers, but it is another jurisdiction in mourning this evening. Officer Tom Cottrell gunned down this week or this weekend. Now he leaves behind three beautiful girls tonight. I got to sit down with two of them and his ex-wife. Because it's kind of like still fresh and everything. 14-year-old Brooke Cottrell doesn't know how to feel. She's smiling and trying to be brave, but she just lost her dad. He was the best dad that I could ever have. Um, he was always there if you needed him. Like, you could call him. He'd, like, talk you through anything. The Danville police officer was gunned down late Sunday night. We can't give that back to them. And that's something that we're going to have to try and work through for the rest of their lives. Cottrell's ex-wife, Anna Montgomery, says he was a great dad to their three girls. 12-year-old AJ didn't want to talk to us on camera. <laughs> <laughs> but check out the video she took of her dad playing with his longtime girlfriend's boys. And these old family photos show just how much he loved his girls. For Brooke, it's something that can't be replaced. He was my dad. Like, I, I spent a lot of time with him, and he did almost everything he could to help us with everything. And he's gone now, so... Yeah, those three girls without a father tonight. Now, Brooke says that she's trying to get her grades up because that's something her daddy wanted her to do. 16-year-old Courtney Cottrell, she couldn't speak with us today. You see, she was working on her CPR certification. She is studying to be a physical therapist because she wants to help people just like her dad.